This is part two of the automatic summary tutorial. Uh, it would be a good idea for you to have first watched the, um, the initial auto summary tutorial since it's got some of the basic features um, that you will need to have already known. So here we are in the same report we were in, that we were using for the first automatic summary tutorial. And in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you, if we go down to summary, I know this is off the screen down here at the bottom, but if you look at the top, you'll see that we're in the summary section. Here it has the title. This is the one we were using earlier. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, instruct Whisper to create you a summary page, but to split out different types of um, linked items. Before we linked everything into one category called all. Here we're going to create some placeholders just to start with here. Hang on. I'll go ahead and enter these real quick. Okay, so I have created three different categories, and what I've done here is created the headings for these categories. I will now also highlight these and bold them so they'll stand out better. And I'm doing that individually here for a reason. And then underneath each of these, I'm going to give a little bit of space, and right underneath major, I'm going to insert a tag like we talked about before, we're going to go to link text, marked as link text, and instead of using the all qualifier, I'm going to use major concern. And that tag has been placed in there. Before we just used one tag for the summary section, we're going to be using several different tags now. So for minor concerns, I'm going to insert another tag, minor. And then down under safety, we're going to have that. And you could actually have additional ones if you wanted more. I've actually got all safety concern, major, minor, code violations, something that needs to be monitored. But this list is completely editable by you. You could um, add to it, change it around any way you want. So here's the safety concern. I'll click OK. And that one ended up getting bold. We don't want that to be bold necessarily. All right, so as you can see, we have our title, which is summary, and then now we have some subtitles, subheadings, I guess you might say, um, each of which has a different tag associated with it. And what Whisper will do as you go through this report and you link information that you want brought back here, you can actually link it in these different fashions. Whisper will sort it all out for you. I will show you on foundations here. I think we did this earlier. Some of these comments I'm going to link are not necessarily problem text, but I will simply use this just to demonstrate. So here this first one is. I'm going to go to our link button. I'm going to say this is a major item, even though it probably isn't. Now it's linked as a major. I'm going to come down to roof coverings. I'm going to say this is major come back up here. Actually, let's make this one uh, a minor. Yes, yeah, what I was going to do. Let's make this a minor concern. Then we'll come down to doors. Loose missing hardware. Let's go ahead and call this a, um, a minor. Let's go to heating equipment. Ducks disconnected and damaged. Okay, so let's make that a major concern. And let's see here. Let's go down to um, let's go into the electrical section here. Hit the enter key. 
let's bring in something here too. Let's um, let's just call this a safety concern for right now. Okay, so I've linked a number of different things throughout this report. Um, at this point, if we click on the printer icon and say preview. Okay. We should see, <clears throat> excuse me, um, down in foundation, all of our stuff is still here like it's supposed to be. But if we go all the way down to summary, you will see that we have our major concern subheading with foundations and heating equipment which is exactly what I marked to come into the major section. Minor, we had this item, actually we had two, and then we had the safety item down here. But as you can see, Whisper was able to split these out um, into several different Actually, let me scroll down a little bit so you can see safety. I think I had that off the screen there. So here's safety. So as you can see, Whisper was able to split these out into different concerns. Uh, the headings are a little smaller than I probably should have made them. You can make that bigger, of course, but I think you get the point. Uh, it's, it's pretty powerful to be able to have that kind of capability, and Whisper does support that. So that concludes the second part of our automatic summary. Thanks for watching.